Hello guys and welcome to the Surfset video blog. Today I will tell you about our API. This is going to be a simple video where I will show you how to make a simple request, how to access API in general. I will not show you how to use Python to create your own tools or how to work with JSON a lot. Uh, it's just an introduction video so you know why use API and how to use it. Let's start with the why. Why use API? Well, first of all, it's a lot faster. You can make several requests at once. You can analyze like 10 keywords at once or 15 competitors. No matter what you want, you can analyze those in bunches. For example, to make one request with SurfSet and analyze a keyword, you have to type it in, wait while it's loading, and then maybe export the data to your list. With API, you can make sure that data is uploading to your list immediately and you can analyze a bunch of keywords at once. Reason number two, API <coughs> Reason number two, API limits come separately. For example, you are using plan C and you ran out of requests. And you have to analyze one more website and one more keyword, what to do. Go and use API. If in your account description it says that you have 1 million API requests, it means that you have 1 million extra requests to add to whatever your plan limits are. And reason number three, you can create your own tools with API. You can even create tools which don't exist in SharpSet. For example, something like fighting keywords that start with the letter K and end with the letter B, for whatever reason you may need that. So how to use API? Well, first you have to get your token. Token is your key which shows us that you have paid for API and you have some limits and you can use them. You can find your token on your profile page. You can just copy it from there and use it wherever you like. You can create a new token if you gave someone access to your APIs and you want to make sure that that person cannot use them anymore. And you can also see how many API limits you've got on your account. Once you've got the token, you are ready to make your request. You can see how to make requests and request examples in our API manual. Just go into sorpstat.com slash API and you'll find that. Each your request is defined by request parameters, there are a few of them. For example, if you want to find out information about a domain, you have to show in your request that you are looking for domain info. You have to specify which website you want to check. You have to add your token so we can make sure that you have some limits to use API. And then you have to specify which search engine you want to analyze it. So your request will look like this. We're looking for domain in 4 for reddit.com. Uh, this is our token and we want to check it in Google United States. You can go and just copy this request into your browser's address bar and you'll get some results. You can find all of these search parameters in our API manual. So go to sorpstat.com API. And now go to the video description and find the link labeled Sorpstat in a spreadsheet. Open it up and you'll get an access to an awesome spreadsheet. First thing you have to do is copy it. So go to file and create a copy. Now you can edit it. The first thing you have to do is copy and paste your own token onto the first list of the spreadsheet. Then go list by list and you will find every bit of information you can find with Sorpstat and its interface. For example, switch to a list about related keywords, type in any keyword and you will get the data about related keywords for that keyword. And the best part, it's already in a spreadsheet so you don't have to export it. So if at any time you run out of limits and you have some API limits left, go and use the spreadsheet, it's simple to use, you, you won't get lost here. It works the same as the Sorpstat in its interface, but it's just the Sorpstat in a spreadsheet. That's all I wanted to share with you about our API in this video. I hope it's enough for you to start. So go and jump in, create the first request, use the SERP set in a spreadsheet, and if you'll have any questions, contact our support. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit likes, subscribe to our channel, share it with friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.